interesting, so see if you agree. Five minutes you give him. What? How does he have time to fire somebody? I mean, if he's not buying you dinner or taking you out, he has no right to ask you anything. But they do. You say, you know what? Oh, God, I've got to run. Watch out, fellas. The dating game just got a lot tougher. Women out there are arming themselves with a bestseller. Tips on how to play hard to get, to get you to the altar. It's called The Rules, and authors Ellen Fine and Sherry Schneider believe they have the fail-proof recipe for catching Mr. Wright. If you don't do these rules, if you chase men, if you pursue men, you will end up dumped. But getting the right guy to chase you means following 35 not-so-simple rules. Like don't call him and rarely return his calls. And don't accept a Saturday night date after Wednesday. Pretty tough, huh? Well, the list goes on. Never meet a guy halfway, which means make sure he comes to your house to pick you up. Always end the date first, and never go Dutch. And even if you're crazy about him, don't see him more than once or twice a week. And stop dating him if he doesn't buy you a romantic birthday gift. And if you're a wannabe rules girl who needs help sticking to her guns, Ellen and Sherry give their rules seminars all over the country. They send out newsletters, and for a whopping $250, these original rules girls even give phone consultations. We do not see a man six times a week when we know him six weeks. No, 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 no. I know he's crazy about you. I know he calls you every day. You just have to tell him you're busy. Nancy Friedberg says rules like let men take the lead helped her catch her husband. When I got to my husband, I was not blowing it. I was not going to blow it. And what that meant was doing the rules, not 100%, but 150%. I never went to my husband's apartment, maybe two or three times. I never as much as left a, a toothbrush there. And this is after we were engaged. Nancy claims to have played by every rule in the book. She read this dating manual over and over until her husband proposed within four months of meeting her. The rules allowed me to sit back and have my husband totally pursue me from the minute he met me till the minute we got down the aisle. Of course, the rules don't mean wedding bells for every woman. I don't know if you want to admit that you need a book to tell you how to date. I just think it's silly to have rules. I just think you just gotta do what the situation demands at the time. Marie Wilson is the president of the Ms. Foundation for Women, and she calls the rules deceitful and very old-fashioned. We tried this, you know, for decades. It did not work, having people pretend to be a Barbie doll or a Susie Homemaker or whatever. It never worked. It's not like these women invented anything that isn't out there in the world already. It's just that they had the audacity to put it down in a book and act like it's something that people should live by. Sherry and Ellen are used to criticism like that, but they just don't buy it. We are not telling women to vacuum and to stay home waiting for the phone to ring. We're telling them, get an MBA if that's what you want to, pursue hobbies, you know, live your life, just don't chase men. A rules girl isn't supposed to let on that she's playing by the rules, but men are getting wind of them. I just can't believe that it's a bestseller in this day and age. To me, I think it would be more appropriate for maybe the elderly who want to reminisce about the way things were, but I don't think it applies today. I mean, to me, to play this game, to start off a relationship with this, you know, charade is just the wrong way of going about it. I don't know. I'd probably stick around maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, and then if she keeps playing that way, then I'll just let her go. So what's the most important rule? Sherry and Ellen say it's better to be home rereading the rules than out breaking them. How many times in your life do you meet Mr. Wright? Not many. Maybe once or twice, three times. So when you do meet a potential husband, uh, that's the time to do rules. Boy, I don't know about that, but we would like to hear from you today about your dating strategies. Give us a call with your secrets on finding Mr. or Ms. Wright. Our viewer voicemail number is 900-680.